Hey everyone, welcome to From the Depths, I'm Menti, and this is the seventh exhibition match of the Battleship Brawl Season 6 tournament. This episode, we've got the Sturgeon Class Light Cruiser by Cape Patrol 88. Going up against the ever popular Ahab's Nightmare by Plate, Gla Plate Glass Armor. Fish versus whale. Yes, exactly. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get the predictions started. Who will be victorious? Sturgeon or Ahab? The prediction has begun. You have one minute to place your bets. <laughs> All right, BRM. Let's go ahead and get the battle underway. Daka, 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 daka. Let's see if those seawiz can stop these cramp shells. Oh, wow. Stop them rather easily. <clears throat> I don't know why it's doing that to you, BRM. And game speed is uh, really crap right now. Is getting stopped, but not all of them. See the Doom Cram turrets? I mean, sure. There they are. Oh, Sturgeon has lost a fin. Steam. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's because you space it out and I start forgetting to go on Do Not Disturb and then you come back and get me. So here are the insides of the cramped turrets. The meaty pink, right? Thank you. 
shotgun is disabled. The issue the surgeon is having with mortars is by the time the guns turn and elevate their barrels, the mortars are like halfway there. space on the inside of the whale. The issue with that stand is ramming at this scale causes massive, massive lag. Like it's absolutely horrible. It tends to crash the game. To a National Ge Geographic documentary commentary on the wildlands now on display. Uh, no, I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, the sturgeon is doing a good job. just aren't aren't making it and the mortars were landing it are landing some shots but not enough a good chunk of the mortars are getting shot down and just missing because the, the sturgeon is fast and maneuverable it is a light cruiser
wonder if it has a uh, super cav though. How that gun's going underwater. Reminds you of a low res nighttime big clip of a stag closely following a cougar. <laughs> that would be amusing to see. It's not going to range DQ against such a slow opponent. I mean, you say that, but there's always rudder damage. <laughs> right, Cornelio. Tempting Murphy is a rather dangerous hobby. Indeed. Indeed. in the entire thing. has had most of its face just ripped clean off. Yeah. It, it looks okay, and then you come over here and it's like, oh, no. No, it's not really okay. <laughs> it's, it's better. It's not as bad. <laughs> Six to fifty five point four. <laughs> Piranha eating the whale. Right, there was just too much whale, it couldn't couldn't get it all in time. And now we wait for the loading time. Ugh, excuse me. Now we wait for the loading time.
Alright, here we go in round two. Is DNC versus the whale on the exhibition match list? Uh, let's see. of interest it is not all right I'll add it and this tournament's never gonna end you guys keep adding more exhibitions Dot e exhibition. <laughs> See how Sturgeon is doing this time. The Antares versus the whale, and the whale versus an egg. You can request one of them. Which one would you rather see? Because I gotta start putting a limit on these exhibitions, and we're never gonna get out of this tournament. I think Take only had the one. Oh no, it does have another one. It'll be over by Christmas. Maybe not at the rate this is going. Whale versus Nick. Okay. More exhibitions, more time to prepare for Squadron Shootout 3. Right? Hyakutake versus the whale. Okay. <laughs> that should be an interesting one. I have added them to the list. And Stan has redeemed Hydrate. <laughs> nice try, Stan. Nice try. Yeah, you're the reason that there is a cooldown on that. <laughs> Where are those missiles going? Oh, Sturgeon's getting DQ. Yes, most likely, Cornholio. Sturgeon's looking a bit beat up this time.
Tijin wants to be a true fish. Yeah, these guns are definitely damaged. They're not firing at the rate they're supposed to. Is it firing straight from the... Yep, straight from... Straight from the, uh... What you call it? Mantlet. All the barrels have been severed off, so the bullets are just going... Wee! <laughs> Taking a lot of mortar hits. But this circular uh, path that it's driving will, should help with that. It should cause a lot of the mortars to land outside. like that. But the sturgeon is barely participating anymore. Yep, it is. Oh, I think Sturgeon might be getting sinking. Yep, Sturgeon is sinking. She's going down. She has become fish. That's <laughs> super close round. Immediately DQs. <laughs> So that get, puts the score at 30.2 to 46.8. It's going to be rough for the Sturgeon to come back from that one. It's going to, like, it needs to kill the Ahab's Nightmare. I don't know if it has the, uh, the firepower for that. I'm really impressed that those Doom Crams don't, like, they don't land a single hit. The Sea Wiz is just like, no. Well, they don't land a hit while the Sea Wiz is active anyway.
Sturgeon isn't AI dead, but all of its guns have stopped shooting. Are the missiles still functional? Because if they aren't, that's GG. Nope, the missiles are not functional because they're laser guided and uh, the lasers are pointing off into the space. I wonder if the uh, the AI had its wireless receiver blown off or wireless transmitter. Golden hailstorm. you guys I'm going home <laughs> pretty much surgeons like I don't want to play anymore all right it's been a minute surgeon gets a zilch Ahab gets 96.9 Gives us a final score of 30.2 to 79.1. Whoops. I kind of accidentally hit tab. I hit tab alt instead of alt tab again. Let's go ahead and award the prediction. Ah, it was 74% to Ahab. Which was... Uh, a bit surprising with how dominant the Sturgeon was in the first round and the second third round it was just like nah nah I don't feel like fighting right I gave it all in my first round I'm out of gas oh doggy and cat get a treat here's your treat Ellie I don't know where the cat is oh there he is here you go the dog and cat have been treated. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode, folks. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you on the battlefield.